everyone to go see the return of New Found Glory. I'm taking a band out with them called Sincere Engineer. They're pretty good, too. Uh, the whole thing is going to go down in a couple of weeks, Thursday, August 29th, over at the Agora. New Found Glory celebrating 20 years by performing Catalyst in its entirety. And uh, you can see the whole thing by being caller number 10 for this pair of tickets. AgoraCleveland.com for everything else. 216-578-1007 to win. Or 800-348-1007. His first marriage didn't work out. He caught her texting another show. Sounds like he deserved it. It's Alan Cox. On 100.7 WMMS. Little smashing pumpkins deep cut for you here called uh, Lucky 13. I will have tickets for you next week to see Billy Corgan and the Pumpkins. They're on the Green Day Saviors tour. I think it's a relatively inspired lineup there. It's Green Day, the it's Smashing Pumpkins, Rancid, and the Linda Lindas. Linda, Linda, listen, Linda, <laughs> Linda. Who I assume are the Donnas of their day. Uh, that is going to happen in Pittsburgh, but all next week I will have tickets for you to see Green Day and Smashing Pumpkins at PNC Park on September the 1st. That is a Sunday night, so you'll probably want to take the second off from work. Also, tickets for the Cleveland National Air Show next week, Labor Day weekend right around the corner. More tickets to join us since it's only a week away. Captain Fun's Floating Fandango is our annual cruise, moving over to the Good Time 3 this year. And we're going out next Saturday afternoon. And there's still a handful of opportunities for you to win, one of which will be with me on Saturday, this coming. I'm going to be back at Circle K because they're presenting the whole thing. Circle K, our sponsor this year for the cruise. I couldn't be happier about that. So Circle K in Fairview Park. I'll be there on Saturday from 11A to 1P. Two short hours, make them count, over there on Lorraine. So Fairview Park, but all of it there at WMMS.com. If you strike out everywhere else, but we are still giving away tickets on the website too. So you can register there, come out Saturday, or try your luck here on the show next week. I don't know how many pair of tickets we give away at the Circle K stops, but obviously I will have a pair a day next week. I think we are here all five days. Now. Well, Bill is out. My Monday is going to be the Captain Fun and Stepmom Mare show. Oh, oh. We're doing it. Big weekend. Th- this big weekend coming up? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, Brian's going to be in town. I'm going to Columbus tomorrow night. So yep. we'll have Columbus Comedy Festival news and then Brian and then Kenny Chesney on Saturday. Yep. Big weekend. That's going to be a big, huge Long, horny weekend. Yeah. But you're going to be at home. You're not going to be in a hotel. Thursday. Or well, Friday. but I mean, not, not, but he's, but Kenny Chesney is at MetLife Stadium, right? Yeah. So you guys are going to be staying at your place. On Saturday. On Friday, yeah. we're going to be in a hotel. Right. But I mean, is, so all the freaky sex ends on Friday. Maybe. We'll see. There's no telling the future, you know? No, there really isn't. Uh, you're not going to manifest that out there? I mean. I don't know. Yeah. Does he know this is all happening? Yep. Okay. He doesn't have to gird his loins or prepare or anything? Nope. Okay. I don't think so. All right. A uh, couple minutes away, I got another one of these trips for you. It's $1,000, and um, you and a pal go into Vegas for the iHeartRadio Music Festival. Alan, you guys were talking about different ways you can get diarrhea in Cleveland. <laughs> There's a lot of ways. You can lick handrails. Pick gum off the sidewalk and chew it. That'll give you diarrhea. Kiss a rat. That'll give you diarrhea. Stick your face in the river. That'll give you diarrhea for sure. So, lots of different ways. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, he just took a couple of minutes to enumerate all of the ways in which you can get diarrhea in Cleveland. Just want to check in real quick. So, I was talking about that parasite. It's making its way across the country that gives people explosive diarrhea. That seems to be the only adjective that is applied to diarrhea to really drive the point home how bad it could be. It's never like 
it's never graphic diarrhea, which I think would be a great way to refer to it. It's always explosive. It's never, what's another violent adjective? Violent diarrhea. Violent, you know. Mm-hmm. Liquid. Well, it's always liquid. That's true. Um, <laughs> That's some real... It's real hard, hard diarrhea. diarrhea. <laughs> that is... You poop. You poop. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I guess so. Every so often, I'll just sit with my daughter, and she'll just want to watch random animal videos. And so we'll just go on Instagram or TikTok or something, these random animal videos. And one of them was a dog. Somewhere in the winter is a dog on the tree lawn after a lot of ice and snow, and this dog is just taking a dump, and its turds are sliding down to the curb. <laughs> and I'm like, so they must have been, like, hard. You know, if a dog's laying out some splat, it's not going to go anywhere. But one after the other, man, we were just howling. Hit me at just the right time. Dog taking a dump, one by one, rolling down the icy snow to the curb. And whoever it wasn't, uh, didn't have um, someone holding it there on a leash. Someone is filming it from their living room. So I assume that was the dog's owner. But I'll tell you what I'll give you diarrhea. How about, and I'm just throwing this out there. This is nothing official, but it occurred to me. What about Snickers flavored pretzels? What about Snickers flavored Pringles? Would you eat those? Pretzels, yes. Pringles, probably not. Because every snack food now is just, it just tastes like something else. They have Doritos flavored popcorn now. Or they have uh, potato chip flavored Dorito. They're just, they're crossing all the streams. And the company, that the Mars company, they own Snickers and M&Ms and all these other things. They are buying a snack maker called Kelanova for $36 billion. This is the biggest corporate merger this year, provided that it goes through. But Kelanova was when Kellogg said, we're spinning off our snack division. We're just going to laser focus on cereal. This Kelanova was that company. So they make Cheez-Its and Pringles and all this other kind of stuff. And Mars is a massive company. They bought the company that makes those kind bars and all these, like, you know, hippie snacks and stuff like that. So you have to think that when all is said and done, we were talking about IP with movies. Let's make a Battleship movie that nobody asked mm-hmm. for, but we own the property. That's what this is going to be. They're going to go, hey, do you think people would want M&M's flavored Cheez-Its? <laughs> but that's and the thing. They those got are this gonna stuff be, right. Huh? People do want to try it. They, they will. They want yeah. to try it. But it's not like these companies are making four or five bags of chips, right? They're making millions of bags of But a of lot these. of it sells out. Yeah, it must. For the novelty, right? They're not going to yeah. last very long. And that's how they get you. Yeah. Hey, limited time. Like Mountain Dew. They go, hey, we're only make. you can only get this at Circle K. Grab your purple thunder. And me... Because I'm very um, intellectually malleable. I do it. I walk right in. I felt like a full-on jag-off, by the way. This past Saturday, I'm doing my ticket stop mm-hmm. at the East Lake Circle K. And so I park my car. I walk over. Rob's there, our boss. Fletcher, one of our sales guys. Circle K is his account. Uh, Pico was there from our promotions team. So nice little group of guys, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of my my pleasantries. Hey, how's it going? I'm going to go inside, get a drink. So I go inside, make a beeline for the cooler, grab a Purple Thunder. Available only at Circle K. Anyway, this particular Circle K, maybe they all do. Um, they have a series of self-scans and then things like if you're getting something a bit more complicated, like a hot dog or something that they package, you put it on this other thing and weigh it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's like the it's like a they have those I feel like at Romo Fijo and stuff. Yeah, they, they have them at like a uh, sporting event. There you go. They, right. So they've integrated these in a circle K and it's very convenient whatever. I I felt for whatever reason I I had just gotten there, I wasn't really locked in yet, and this woman is right there behind the counter. Older woman's behind the counter. Which threw me off cuz I'm like if this is a self thing, why is she there? And so then I'm looking at her. 
You call her an old crone. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. No, no this, is, this is on me, not on her. I go, she's just kind of looking at me. And I go, she goes, do you need help? I go, no. And so then I walk <laughs> over with a single bottle of Mountain Dew. And I scan it. And then for whatever reason, like, I put it on the thing next to it because I thought, she goes, just scan it. I go, okay. So I scan it. And she goes, okay, swipe your card. And I go to swipe my card. And she goes, she goes, right here. She says something that I think she's talking to me. There's a guy behind me. I don't know he's back there. So I think she's talking to me. Oh, yeah. I look like I was 100 years old. You have no and, idea what's happening. And she happening. must have, yeah, she probably felt like she was 21 and I was 100. And I go, and I go, what? And I, like, move a step to the left or something. And I'm like, I'm going to do the time warp again. And, um. She goes, no, sir. This is an older woman, by the way. She was like late 60s. She goes, no, sir, you're right here. And I go, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like such a jag off. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm like, all you're I got to do is dumb. scan it and swipe my card, you know, but there's like the scale thing and the whatever. She's I'm like, like, kids these days. I know. <laughs> I'm like, do I scan this or weigh it or what? Oh, that's the, that's the, um, it's the double edged sword. Too many options. And so I didn't realize there was a guy behind me, so I thought she was talking to me. Oh, and it cut me like a knife. Sir, you're right here, okay? Come on. I'm going to take see. him you're over right the- here. Oh. That's so funny. Oh. Starts clicking yeah. at you. So yes. Over here. Oh, she put me in my place. Yeah, that's for me calling that lady an old crone three years ago. Man. All right, let me get you to Vegas. This is $1,000 in a trip for you and a friend. Airfare, hotel, tickets to this year's iHeartRadio Music Festival. Uh, middle of next month, so good luck. Now your chance at $1,000 and a trip to our iHeartRadio Music Festival. Text the nationwide keyword. Win to 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's win to 200-200. WMMS. Alan, shout out to the laundromat that's connected to the Circle K in Fairview Park. They helped a lot of people during the blackout. All right. Well, the shout out to them. I'll be at that Circle K in Fairview Park on Saturday. What time? 11A to 1P, Bill. Giving away tickets for our Alan Cox Show cruise. Can people buy any? No, they're all sold out. Oh, so they should go to this. Of course. They want to go on the cruise. This is the first year we put them for sale. Uh, by popular demand, and uh, and I do mean demand. Yeah, they sold uh, those out fast. Sold out fast. Yeah. Did you try? Did you get to try the spicy mustard Doritos? Those are life changing. You know yeah. what? Have you had them? No. They're pretty goddamn good. I think I, I did have those. I, and think, I think they were pretty good. I've only seen them at Target. Like that's the other thing. Every because it's so bifurcated with all these. Every snack now is like only av- <laughs> only those available. Cowboy boots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, they're only available like in one place. I've only ever seen them there, like on an end cap. So yeah, I have had the spicy mustard Doritos, and they're pretty friggin' good. Yeah. I'm okay. not that big of a mustard fan. I mean, we know my stance on it. F you mustard, I believe, mustard. is your personal mantra. I don't think. No, I get it. As a flavor, it's not for everyone, but it's like. It's not a great flavor. When you go to Mm, Canada, ketchup flavored chips are a big thing in Canada. Also weird. Well, it's whatever. Yeah. I'm not a fan, but, you know, every region's got their own culinary peccadilloes, I guess. Alan, I use the term cascading diarrhea. Ooh. I mean, at least. sounds fancy. It sounds serene. Mm -hmm. You know, it sounds like you might have a better time sitting there on the bowl. Chocolate combos. <laughs> that actually, with a pretzel? I mean, it's basically a chocolate-covered pretzel. Yeah, pretzel oh, or cracker. Reverse, yeah. yeah. See, I like cracker combos. So mm. into the pretzel. Still probably good. I'll tell you what's also really good. The caramel. <laughs> cracker combos, what they call me and you, and it's just a. Uh, <laughs> Us hanging the, around. Yeah, when, when it's just, when Mary's not here, it's just the cracker combo. Yeah, well, I guess we could, all, combo. we could always be the, it could be the cracker combo with any uh, iteration of this. Mm-hmm. No, the caramel uh, uh, bugles. Oh, those are good, yeah. Pretty good. I've only ever found them, like, if I'm on a road trip or something, or I'm, I'm you know, I, I have to, I'm out <laughs> I'm tomorrow because I got to move my daughter back into, into her apartment. She's starting school again in a couple of weeks at Michigan State. And so 
you know, if I got to get gas on the turnpike or something, I'll go in there. Look for him. I will. Sometimes, yeah. Keep an eye peeled. If I'm in that mood, usually I won't um, I won't eat anything that delightful, Mary, in the car. Well, but, why would you, you know? Well, try to keep it tight. Alan, Bridgetown, Jacksonville, Florida, listening back to the podcast, and you guys are discussing your father's musical interests, and you said you're not sure what your father likes. But you said you do remember he played guitar and piano. Do you know what he played on guitar and piano? It might lead you to some idea as to what kind of music he actually enjoyed listening to. I don't imagine you'd play music you don't like. Uh, anyways, just curious about it. Hate the show. Bye! <laughs> Thank you, Rich. There's Rich down in Jacksonville. No, that's a great kind of way to reverse engineer it. I don't. I, I remember my dad playing guitar. I don't remember the songs he was playing. When he would play piano, he mostly played early '90s techno. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> play a lot of Orbital, Underworld, and I'll tell you what: watching him wail on that piano in our dining room, and he's just banging out "No Good" by the Prodigy. Just a core memory. It was, that's the best way to put it, core memory. Every once in a while, he'd tickle a little pump up the jam in there, too. But it was, man, it was fun to see him go crazy. Every once in a while, he'd play a request. Now, he'd need the sheet music. He'd need the charts so he could play it that way. And my mom would be ribbing him. She'd go, play Be My Lover by LaBouche. And my dad would give her a knowing wink. And he'd try to trip her up. He'd play Venga Boys instead. But, uh, yeah, that's what my dad would uh, play on the piano at our house. i got to take a break. You can text me 35192 if you're watching the show at alancockshow.com. Uh, 